Geek Thoughts, Micah here. I'm betting you've heard of the inventor Nikola Tesla. He was born in 1856 and largely forgotten for quite a few years. But lately he's become something of a pop culture figure. So uh, why are we talking about thinking like Tesla? Well, if you think back to uh, the ancient, long ago era of VCRs, they were always blinking 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock. It's kind of a running joke. People could never figure out how to set the VCRs. And since then, life has gotten exponentially more complicated. Right? Everyone is trying to do the thinking for you now. So why we need to think like Tesla is to build technical coping skills, to just to manage all this technology around us, to understand what's happening, and to cultivate and celebrate clear thinking and problem solving. So we're going to talk about 10 ways that you can think like Tesla. All right, the first one is taking stuff apart. So what you see on the screen here is a 52 inch monitor, gigantic thing, it took two guys to lift it. It was hanging on the wall at my work and one day it went dark. So it was about to be hauled off to e-waste. And I said, hey, why don't you leave that in my office instead? And, uh, and so in my copious spare time, I, I took it all apart and ended up stripping it down for parts. So taking stuff apart is interesting. You learn a lot about how things work. So in the TV case here, for instance, there's a lot of the stuff going on. There's a lot of components, lots of complexity, but you can start breaking it down. For example, there's a backlight circuit and then everything else. So you can, def you can determine, you can figure out whether the problem is in which part of the circuitry and you can start narrowing it down. And just by learning a few high level important facts, you can begin to troubleshoot something as complicated as a big screen TV. So solving deep problems. Now, a uh, homework assignment for you guys. Take a phone, a TV, a camera, something that you use every day, and I want you to go out and try to find a service manual or a schematic diagram for it. Now, I guarantee you, when you look at this thing, you will just be snowed over by the complexity. You'll just look at it and, and just feel completely overwhelmed. That's okay. That's how, that's how you get started. A mental technique called chunking is how you can process big complicated pieces. So you don't have to understand all of the complexity all at once. If you start to understand how the big pieces fit together, then you can start to understand the whole a lot better. That leads to experimentation. This is an old picture here of an electronics kit like one I used to have. Think about how the different chunks interact. This is also known as systems thinking. All right. Once you understand how the individual pieces work, you can start putting them back together in different ways, and you can start bending them to your will. This is the true notion of, of what uh, old school people call hackers. Really using things for purposes that the original inventors might not have even thought about. So once you get to that point, you can start putting stuff together. Become a maker. Start building your own things. This here is a circuit on the screen. We're going to talk about more about this on the channel. Visualize. Nikola Tesla was said to be able to invent something completely in his mind. He could see every piece, he could see all the movement, all the electrical fields, everything, how it all fit together. And when he went to the workbench to build it, it worked exactly as he had visualized it. Or so he said. Some of his experiments were surprising. How can we take that into account? Well, we may not have the visualization skills of Nikola Tesla, but we can work on it. And we have the benefit of computer technology. Computers make visualizing things a lot easier. Even things like spreadsheets, like PowerPoint presentations or Keynote, 3D, CAD, CAM. All these things are, are ways that can help us visualize things better so we can work with that. Now we're gonna get into this a little bit more towards the end. We have some bonus content coming up, but finish what you start. Nikola Tesla was, he had an iron will when it came to being driven towards what he believed in. This is an artist's conception of where some of his inventions could have ended up. This could have been our world. Take a break from nature. Technology is very engrossing, some would say addictive. So, but that doesn't mean that it's your life. Tesla was famously fond of pigeons. He, he named them, he cared for them. So he wasn't just all tech all the time. He was willing to take a break and enjoy nature. We should do the same. Go for a walk clear your mind, get some fresh air. Get your eyes off of that screen once in a while. 
The other thing is a work ethic. In 1886, Tesla was employed as a ditch digger. Yes, that's not a metaphor. That's literal. He was earning $2 a day. In better times, he was laser focused on higher level goals, but he was willing to put in the work. He was willing to do whatever it took to get his job done. And reportedly, he didn't even ever take vacations. His work was his vacation. So there's something on there that we can learn from that too. He was also very, um, let's, see, let's say picky about his food. He was very particular. He paid great attention to what he put into his body because he knew his body and his mind were connected and what he ate would affect the way he thinks. And then lastly, he embraced rituals. When he needed a good long think, he would take a nice, long, soothing hot bath, followed by a cold shower. But if that works for you, go ahead and rock that cold shower. Now, a couple more things. There's a few ways we should try to not be like Tesla. And these three we'll see are all closely related. So one is overspending. Nikola Tesla was famously terrible at financial management. He just, he would spend money, he would get the best possible equipment, he would have the best outfitted labs, and he would run out of money way sooner than, than his uh, financial backers thought that he would. Um, also, don't ignore practicality. Some of Tesla's goals were so huge and so lofty that they were impractical to complete. Powering the entire world like one might pump up a beach ball. That was uh, just not going to happen. And then third of all, don't see the world only through your own eyes. Sometimes he would get so taken with his vision of the world, and it was a good vision, what the world could have been like, but he was so taken by that that he failed to notice how other people saw it. In particular, this friendly looking gentleman here, JP Morgan, one of his financial backers, who yanked all his funding once he realized that he wouldn't be able to put a meter on the electrical energy that he wanted to send all around the world. So if you found this content useful, please subscribe. Please tell a friend, send them this way, and join this channel. Join me on this journey as we learn better to think like Tesla. Thank you very much.